today is the last day of summer. Um, my windows are down. My hand is out the window. This is the first time ever, and I don't need my air conditioning. Like, it's cold out, and I'm wearing a sweater. Like, this is crazy. Margaritas and microwave pizzas. I guess you could say it's sweater weather. Hey, guys. The Cloud House, the giant house in the Hollywood Hills, pool, sick ass view, the Phase House. You ever seen that? Look at this. So I got distracted. Um, welcome. Hi, my name is Leah, and I'm back with another effing video. It's not a playlist video, I'm sorry. There's a sick guy right now on a little grass cutter mobile in this big field, but he's going super fast. I just threw up on my mouth. He's having fun. I've been thinking about this topic I'm gonna talk about. Uh, a lot recently. I don't know why, but like it's just been going around my brain and I'm like, I need to discuss this with somebody. I need to have an outlet with somebody so I can tell them what's going on up in here. This is about middle school, of course. And I just need to know, did everybody have like a weird, crazy teacher? I like to get more specific because every single teacher I had in middle school was really weird. They were either really crazy or a pedophile. That can be another story time. My pedophile gym teacher. That's a true story. This is a different topic. We're not going to talk about him today. We're going to talk about my Spanish teacher. I feel like everybody had a crazy Spanish teacher. I don't know what was with these Spanish teachers, but they were all kind of crazy and they kind of hated their lives and hated being there, but um, they were pretty fun. I had a Spanish teacher. I want to say her name, but I'm not going to. But like, what are the odds she's actually going to find this like dumb video and watch it? and remember me. Mm, not high, but still, I don't want to get sued or something. I don't know how that stuff works, but I feel like that could be a case right there. So we're going to call her Miss... M Miss Broth. It sounds similar to her real name. We're going to call her Miss Broth. You can figure out her actual name. I have a couple stories about her. I wanted to tell these stories, these because I've seen this girl's video where it's like stories I couldn't tell until after I graduated. Well, I could tell these stories. I'm rolling the window up because there's some beeping out there. I could tell these stories because this happened in middle school, actually, and I could have been told these stories, but um, I waited till now. I thought now was the perfect time. Don't know why, it's just been on my mind, so... Um, my teacher was hilarious, bro. Like, she was a terrible teacher, but she was hilarious, and I liked her class because we didn't do nothing in that class. Somehow she managed to make us watch Selena, the movie Selena, every single day in that class. We didn't learn nothing. That movie Selena didn't have nothing to do with, like, learning Spanish at all. I guess she just liked that movie, and she just played it every single day and stretched that movie into, like, a whole school year while she was behind her desk watching The Notebook and crying with tissues. That's a true story and I've seen that happen before my eyes. Let me start with my first and favorite story about her. I don't know, this isn't in any particular order that these stories happened. This is just my favorite one. We're in class. In middle school, you know how like when you have substitute teachers? I don't know if it was just because I went to a public school and that's how it was and we were, like my school was like pretty dingy, like it was a bad school. I don't know any other word to use without making it sound offensive, but my school was trash. Like, it was not a good school. I had good memories there, but it wasn't a good school. All of my schools I went to were pretty dingy. That's my favorite word. Sometimes, when we had substitutes, the substitutes wouldn't show up. Or they wouldn't show up and they wouldn't leave any notice, they just wouldn't come because I guess they didn't care. But this actually wasn't the case. I think it was a holiday. I don't know, but schools were open still, so we had class. Class was in session, and it was just a pretty regular day. We walk into Spanish class, I think it was like third period, I don't know, after lunch, before lunch, I can't remember, but we walk in, and Miss Broth is nowhere to be found. And the first thing our middle school selves did, our public school middle school selves did, was lock the door, turn the lights off, and get quiet, so we would not have a teacher because we thought she wasn't here today the substitute didn't come today so we're gonna be quiet close the door turn the lights off and just make it seem like there's just no class at all in here so when the principal comes around they won't question it when they see that their classroom is like not there. there's a guy it's the same guy riding that little thing cutting his grass and it's being a man. I don't know if you can hear the grass cutting in the background but just ignore that he's having fun he's doing circles right now Wow, he's doing circles. Okay, 
back to my story. So, what was I saying? Yeah. So we're like, we're gonna be quiet, so if a substitute does come, they're gonna think it's the wrong classroom, or if the principal comes, they're gonna be like, okay, there's no class in here. And we did that a lot. This was not the first time we did this successfully. This happened multiple times. I was with it. You know, the good kids in the class, they weren't with it, but I was with it. Everyone else was with it, so we were like, okay, let's just be quiet. We managed to spend that whole class period, which is what, 90 minutes? I don't know how classrooms and times worked in middle school, I don't remember. But we managed to successfully stay in that whole classroom the whole time with no teacher, just on her phone, sitting on the desk, chilling, vibing. That was a good memory in middle school. It was the last five minutes of class, and we're all just sitting there, and we hear the door getting, like, pulled, and it gets unlocked, and the door swings open. And there is Miss Broth, sunglasses on, shopping bags in both hands, walking in, thinking it's the weekend or something, and she goes, what are you guys doing here? We, we went crazy. Like, we lost it. When she said, what are you guys doing here? I think she thought it was like a major holiday that day, or she just thought like, there's no school today, or the weekend. I don't know what is wrong with this lady, but she walks in and she's just like, what are you guys doing here? You're not supposed to be here. I said, Miss Broth, we're here to learn Spanish, but you didn't come here at all. You didn't come to the last five minutes, babe, so we didn't get to learn anything. And that was it, because, like, we were done with that class, so we had to leave. So, like, we never got an explanation as to why she thought there was no school that day. Actually, that's not my favorite one. This one is a little two-parter. It'll be a little hard for me to understand because I have to use actions and I have to show you physically what she did. That really frightened me and I still think about it to this day. Actually, this one's my favorite. I wasn't there at school for some reason. I wasn't there and my friend, she told me, she was like, you missed it. Today in class, Miss Roth, oops. Today in class, Miss Broth did something really weird and you didn't see it or I wasn't there in the class or something but I just missed it and she told me what happened. She told me that in the middle of class, while we were doing nothing, because we usually did nothing in that class, Miss Broth, I guess she got frustrated. She, side note, she used to look at horoscopes all the time and would be on Facebook all the time and just do horoscopes and stuff. So I thought this was connected to her horoscope thing, but I guess not. Maybe she just got frustrated, but she wasn't doing anything. Like, she would just sit there. But, um, so she flipped her head over, hair over her head, covered her face, and started stomping on the ground. Like, she just started stomping on the ground. She flipped her head back, went back to normal. Nothing happened after that. And when my friend told me that, I said, you're geeking. Like, that didn't happen. That's not, like, no. I didn't see it, so I don't believe it. So I just forgot about that until two weeks later. It's me and her in that classroom. We're sitting there. I'm about to go up to her and ask her a question about this package. She always gave us packets. She never taught us. She just gave us packets for real. That's public school for you. Before I sit up, I see her flip her head over. Her hair is over her face. She is slouched over, hands over her face, and she starts stomping again. And I thought, no, this can't be real. This isn't happening because I'm not witnessing this right now. And then my friend was like, I told you so, of course. But like, I was in shock. I said, no, she did not just do that in public and I thought like her horoscope was like telling her to do this thing and like something will come true because she did this periodically she did this all the time and I don't know if it was an act of frustration or she wanted to get something out of it but that's just another funny story about her I'm starting to think that these stories are kind of boring because like you weren't there to experience it. Like, she was a funny teacher, bro. Like, she was funny, but it, you had to be there. This next one is a quick one. In middle school, I don't know if this is just a public school thing, too. Probably not, but, like, in middle school, you would have, like, a parents come to school day. Um, I really dreaded that day. But your parents would just come to school and just watch you learn and stuff. And, um, it was, like, a huge turnout. Wonderful turnout. Everyone brought their parents. It was kind of a cute little day. And we had Spanish class again. Third period, before lunch, after lunch, I don't remember, but um, we were in Spanish class and our parents were there. I don't remember if my parents were still there. They might have left earlier or came later, I don't remember, but um, this one girl that was my friend in the class had her dad with her. And her dad was there, he was walking around the classroom and it was end of the class. And Ms. Broth decides to come up to my friend. She goes, your father? He is muy guapo. 
Miss Broth! Chill out! We get it, Miss Broth. You're single. You want a boyfriend. We get it. But, like, she's hitting on somebody's dad. I thought that was the funniest thing ever. I, I don't know if she thought we didn't know what guapo meant, but she taught us what it meant. It meant handsome. And, um, she was calling my friend's dad handsome. And she was trying to shoot her shot. And I appreciate her boldness because I could never. Miss Broth! Calm down. We are middle schoolers. We don't want to hear that. I was in shock. I said, Miss Broth, are you kidding me? I was like, no, 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 no. I knew this teacher was weird, but not this weird. That was the funniest thing I think she's ever done. I don't know if it was the shopping bags one or the flip in the head one, but like calling somebody's father muy guapo, I thought that was hilarious. You know what? Now that I think about it, I think she was my favorite teacher. She was funny. She was unintentionally funny, or intentionally, but she was unintentionally funny to me. She was she was a funny gal. This is the last one. It's kind of quick. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. I was a bad kid in middle school. I was not a good kid. I would always get calls home. I would always get detention. I would always... I was just a bad kid in middle school. I'm not like that now. I'm a changed woman. I'm a grown woman and a changed woman. In middle school, I was pretty bad, and I didn't like to tell my parents about that part, but I would like to tell my parents about the parts when teachers would yell at me. Like, I would be like, she's racist, and that's why she don't like me. And then my parents would be like, okay, so we'll have a conference with them. And I said, wait, um, no. You don't need to do that. Because, like, I knew I was lying. My violin teacher, she would always give me lunch attention, and I would say she's racist because she wouldn't give my white friend lunch attention either. But, but... Okay. And I would get letters home. One time we were watching this Nelson Mandela movie. I think that's or Gandhi. Oh my gosh. I don't remember. And I just was geeking. It was not a movie you were supposed to be geeking at, but me and my friend were geeking and I got a call home. Then I had to write a letter to my teacher apologizing because my parents were like that. They were built like that and they would just make me be respectful to teachers. I was a little disrespectful in Miss Roth's in Miss Broth's class. I keep saying her name. At this point, it don't even matter because like this video is going nowhere. I was very talkative, I guess. So during the class, the whole class was like pretty wild. This broth was getting visibly stressed out. She didn't do her head thing, stop on the floor thing, but she was getting stressed out. And um, she's had enough. Like imagine, class is going crazy. She's standing up there, frowning on her face, getting very frustrated because we wouldn't follow direction. Oh, I think this is when she was giving us our Spanish names. For some reason, she all named us in our Spanish names, and I got Lisa. I hate that name. I got Lisa, and I really hate that name. I said, the audacity of you giving me Lisa. Anyways, she's getting frustrated, so she had enough. She slams her hands on the desk, goes, you need Jesus. I said, Miss Broth, I already have Jesus in my heart. She was very frustrated, though, and I actually don't blame her. But I went straight home and told my parents, I said, my teacher told me that I needed Jesus. And my dad was pretty offended. So, um, of course he gives her a little call. He was like, um, something happened in class today, I guess, with my daughter. And I was just wondering if you would like to talk about it or have a conference. This is what Miss Broth says. Miss Broth says, um, I don't have the availability in my schedule to have conferences or something like that. She was really a little nervous on the phone. She said she doesn't do conferences. I said... If I were a teacher, now that I think about it, I would be Miss Broth. Like, she really did not care. She had no cares in the world. She did whatever she wanted. She said, no, I can't have a conference with your child. You know why? Because I don't want to. And actually, I respect her now that I think about it. So, Miss Broth, if you're watching this video, I'm so sorry. If you want me to take this down, I will. Maybe. I'm sorry for what we put you through in middle school. I hope you're having a good time right now, but you were just a funny teacher. And um, you were my favorite class because somehow, like I said, you managed to stretch Selena, the movie, throughout the whole school year. And we ain't do nothing. And that's what I like, doing nothing. Now that I think about it, I have a lot of middle school stories. Like, my gym teacher, he was a pedophile. Like, all of my teachers were crazy in middle school. So maybe I tell more middle school stories just for your entertainment purposes. I don't know if you guys like listening to these stories. I don't know if this one was interesting. I just like to talk about this one because I think about it daily. Like this was my middle school life. Like I went through this every day and if I were a teacher actually in her position, I would be the same way. Thank you for watching this video. You should subscribe, but I'm not forcing you to, okay? Know that. You're not being forced, but you should because like what's the point of not subscribing? So thank you for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Um, I've got to go. Because I'm going to go think about some more middle school stories and tell you guys. This is a great therapy session. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye-bye. Oh, no. Motorcycle. I mean, oh, lawnmower guys coming.